Hi and welcome students. In today's Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to write formulas with mathematical operators. Let's get started. Alright, so I have a uh, workbook here and I kind of wanted to go over a little bit about writing formulas in Excel. So the first one that I wanted to cover is addition here. And so addition, the way that we are going to add in uh, multiple numbers at once is with a plus sign. But the first thing to remember, and I'm just going to type some notes down here so that you can remember as I go, uh, is to start with the equals. Okay, so we're going to start with equals. What the equal sign does is it tells Excel, okay, we're about ready to write a formula or function or some sort of mathematical operator in which you can calculate. So that's what's going to tell Excel what we're doing. So let's start with that. So over here is where I'm going to write in my formulas. And so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and we're going to start with the equal sign. Okay, and then I'm just going to use some simple calculations in here. And so let's start with this one equals 5 plus 5. Okay, now that's going to say to Excel equals sign, get ready to calculate 5 plus, which is addition, 5. And if I press enter, you'll see that we get 10. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. That's exactly what we expected it to be. Perfect. Now let's go over subtraction. Subtraction is a minus sign. Now, one thing that I tell my students to do is get in the habit of if you're using a keyboard, or a full keyboard rather, and it has a number pad on the right side, get in the habit of using that because you're going to find all, uh, basically all of these um, operators over on that side. And so you'll see the minus sign above the plus sign on your number pad in the top right of the number pad, or you'll see it next to the zero um, on your keyboard. And so I'm going to go right over here and hit the equal sign, okay, which is usually to the left of backspace. And I'm going to start with that equal sign. And now this time I'm going to do 10 minus 5. And so uh, this tells Excel we're ready to calculate with the equal sign 10 minus, which is subtraction, 5. And that equals 5. All right, so there we go. We have our calculation. All right, next up, I'm going to do multiplication. Multiplication in Excel uses the asterisk. Uh, on your keyboard, that's shift and eight, or that is uh, the asterisk that's on your number pad above the nine in most cases. And so I'm gonna go right over here, and on this one, I'm gonna do equals, okay? And on this one, we'll do five times five. Equals five times five. And so this says, get ready to calculate with the equals sign, and then five times, which is the asterisk, five. And then we do an equals or sorry, and then we press enter, and that's going to give us 25. So that's how we do multiplication in Excel. Next up is division, okay, and so with division, I'm going to start with the equal sign, and then uh, for division, it's this one right here. That's usually next to uh, the shift, or j just to the left of the shift button on your keyboard, or on your number pad, it's right above the 8, and that's the divide symbol, okay. And so on this one, I'm going to do uh, 25 divided by 5. All right. And so once I do that, there we go. Okay. And so that would be your division. Okay. All right. So the next one up is percentages. And on this one, it's uh, going to be the percent symbol. And so we're going to start out with the equal sign. And percents work a little bit differently. Uh, I'll just type in the percent that I'm interested in, which is, let's say, 25 percent. Okay. Now keep in mind percentages when you put them into decimals, they look like this. Press enter. 0.25. So 25% is 0.25. That's because 100% is equal to 1. So don't make the mistake when you're typing in percentages of forgetting that um, you know, it's a uh, it's a decimal, right? So if I just typed in equals 25 and I don't signify that that's a percentage, it's just going to give me a 25 there, right? So equals 25%. Okay? And so that's uh, 0.25. Okay? There we go. And this could also be um, combined with any of these ones here. Alright, so right here is expo uh, exponentation or exponentiation. I don't know. Anyway, uh, getting exponents. So that's what we're doing here. So um, we're going to start with the equal sign. And let's on this one, let's do uh, 2 exponent three. So this would be two times two times two. Okay. And so we would expect an answer of eight here, right? Because two times two is four times two is eight. And we press enter. And there we go. We get eight. So that's your exponentiation. All right. So there we go. 
All right, so we started with the equal sign, and the next note that I want to do is PEMDAS applies. So keep in mind that however you're going to write your equations, PEMDAS applies. So that's going to be parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. So as you create your, um, your equations in here, you want to make sure that you refer back to that as far as getting the answer that you want. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's do a couple of these. So right here I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to do an addition and a subtraction and a multiplication. So we'll start with the equal sign and let's say I do uh, 10 and 5. Okay, so let's do 10 and notice this time I'm referencing the cells rather than typing them in. And so because you're writing a mathematical operator in Excel, you can also reference cells. So I start with the equal sign and then I click on the 10 and that's going to give me cell D1. And then on this one I'll do plus and I'll do 5 right here which is D2. So that's 10 plus 5 and so that equals 15. And then we're going to do, uh, let's do multiply. And we're going to get multiplication right here times 25, 25. Okay, so if you are looking at this you then have to look back at PEMDAS and see that it's going to go multiplication first, so that's 5 times 25, which is 125, plus 10. So we should expect to get 135 for this answer. We press enter, and we get 135. Okay. Now keep in mind that you could always go back into this by double clicking into it. And then let's say that we wanted actually 15 times 25, well then you have to add in your parentheses, and that's when those come into play. You add in those parentheses, now it's going to be 10 plus 5 times 25. Okay, so we're going to get 15 times 25, and you have your answer right there of 375. Okay, so again, as you go through, you can add in any of these that you want. Okay, so I'm actually going to uh, keep using this equation to continue on with this. And let's see here, we have 10 plus 5 uh, times 25. And let's say at the end of this, I want to divide it all. So I could actually go here and I could say, all right, add in the parentheses. Okay. So on this one, again, it's going to take care of these two first, which is D2 and D3. So that's going to be 5 times 25, which is 125, plus 10. So that's going to be 135. And then I'm going to add in a division here, divided by. So we'd get 135 divided by 5, which is 27. Okay, and so again, all of this applies. Okay, so we get 27. All right, at the end of this, I could go through and I'm going to uh, use subtraction again, and I'm going to just I'm going to subtract uh, 20 just to get to a lower number, and you'll see that we get to 7. Okay, now let's say that I wanted to do 7 exponent of 2, so that whole thing to the exponent of 2. I could actually add in a parentheses here and a parentheses here at the beginning, right? And then go to exponent of 2. All right. And so then I can do that and I would expect this number to be 49. There we go. All right, so now we've created a function that uses multiple parentheses. Okay, hopefully this has made sense as I've built it. And it also uses addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents. Okay, and there we go. We get f an answer of 49 from all of that. All right, so that's a little bit about using uh, mathematical operators with uh, Microsoft Excel. Again, I'm not a math teacher, so if I um, made any uh, incorrect statements about math, then I'm sorry. But that's uh, how you uh, use math with Excel, and especially with uh, the, um, uh, and I guess that's how we write formulas. So anyway, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.